This is Neil Anderson uh, to, for another interview about wind turbine-related symptoms. Um, thank you for coming. Well, thank you. How yeah. old are you? I am 58 okay. years old. So uh, if, you could, if you could describe your, um, the symptoms that you've had since the turbine or turbines went online near your home, and also what you notice in terms of the symptoms coming and going, either when you're at home or away, or the turbines are on or off, or the wind is low. So how do you, how you know that, you know, the correlation with what the turbine is doing? Well, um, I, all my life, have been very active in sports. I'm a, I'm a construction worker. Mm -hmm. I've always been physical, rollerblading, anything I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had, since... Uh, last, beginning of last summer, first it was a head pressure, mm -hmm. a sensation in my head. There was uh, moments when I would seem that there would be water in my ears. Uh, I couldn't explain it. Uh, it actually took me two months to figure out that it was uh, related to the wind turbine. Uh, I suffered from headaches. I never, I never remember having a headache in my past life at mm -hmm. all. I've had heart palpitations, uh, quivering, uh, grinding my teeth, uh, the tinnitus in my ears has just been uh, very, very hard to bear. Uh, I've uh, had suffered uh, lapses of uh, vertigo. I've had heard my head sloshing, almost like a uh, Compass that's water filled compass. I've had that, had that experience. Uh, most of them uh, are very frequent. Uh, not frequent, but in, infrequent. Mm -hmm. They don't happen that often. But the tinnitus is, is the main thing right now. Mm -hmm. It bothers me. So, how far do you live from the turbines? Uh, we live uh, one quarter mile, 1,320 feet. From, from wind, wind one. one turbine, it is a 400 foot Vestas D82. It is a monster. I have been a home builder for 35 years. I am an Energy, Energy Star certified home builder. We live in a passive solar house with solar hot water. We are very conservative people, and I was actually looking forward to this turbine across the street. Mm -hmm. Being half Danish, I was very excited to tell people about the virtues of this thing. Mm -hmm. And how ironic. Mm -hmm. Here I am on the opposite side, wishing that thing would go way far away. Have you had any relief during the summer? Or what, what happens at your house? Like, what is the prevailing wind that... Um uh, we are what we have come to call ground zero. We are one of the test points for the town studies. The topography, is, it's just the worst case scenario for a home and a wind turbine. Uh -huh. um, we had to, um, it's, it's not been bad lately because we basically had to go plead before the selectmen to turn it down. Yeah. Uh, which they've done so. So at now, at least, we, did, we do get some relief mm -hmm. during high speeds. But up until that 23 mile an hour limit, it can be hell. Even at 8 miles an hour, that thing bothers us. The most devastating wind conditions are happen to be the prevailing winds, which are from the southwest mm -hmm. or from the northwest, when we, uh, we feel the terrible wake pressures up of this thing. So you are downwind when it's from when winds from the downwind when the wind is from the north. We are due south of the turbine. Okay, but you also get uh, symptoms when the wind is from the south. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the the turbine can either be facing you or away from you. Correct. For the worst symptoms. Yes. And what is it about the topography? We are in a valley mm -hmm. where all of the bad, what I call it, the negative effects actually get funneled and magnified onto our house. Mm -hmm. Our house is perpendicular to the wind turbine, mm -hmm. and it actually has a little curve in it, almost like a dish, mm -hmm. where it's 
seems to just... Facing the turbine? Yes. It just, uh, it's just a worst case scenario. My house is super insulated. I have an extra layer of one inch foam on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't keep out the... It does not keep out. The noise or... No. We try to mask it with plugs, earplugs, and noise machines. And it get rid, gets rid of the audible noise. Mm -hmm. But we, we know that that low frequency pulse is, is just coming through. What do you, how do you feel it or notice it? I've, I've actually, it really screws up your head. It gets into your heart. It mimics, it's very hard to explain it. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it makes my heart beat faster. Mm -hmm. Pressures in my head are sometimes uncontrollable. Uh, again, I just keep in your ears or your head or both. No, basically in my ears. In your ears, ear pain. Ear pain. One thing that I I, I noticed since the turbine has developed is a, a pain that has started in my shoulder mm -hmm. and has generated up to the side of my head, mm -hmm. which has been diagnosed as occipital. Neuralgia, mm -hmm. but I I don't think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it is. Does it come and go with the turbine activity? Well, it's a that's a good question. I, I usually feel it in the evening mm -hmm. to the point where I really can't even move my head. Mm -hmm. I've got to resort to a couple of uh, uh, aspirin. Mm -hmm. to go to what about your sleep? I've been, I get woken up quite a bit, mostly now by the tinnitus. Mm -hmm. But at, there were times when that pulse, you know, would certainly wake me from my sleep. I'm a pretty solid sleeper. Mm -hmm. You know, I usually put in a pretty good day at work. Mm -hmm. So up until this past year, I, I usually fall asleep quite quickly and have a real good sound sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has been interrupted by the turbine. How? How much? Like how many days a week would you say you have a Now it might be, um, I would say two or three days a week now. Okay. When did they turn down the, when did they put the cap on? March 1st of this year. Okay. So two or three days a week now you have a poor sleep. Yes. And what about before the cap? Uh, before the cap it was more frequent, probably four, four or five times a, a night. So, uh, a week. four or five times a week. Yes. So how do you feel in in the day after you've had a bad sleep, in terms of your your energy, your mood, your yeah. motivation? It's, it's been terrible. I have no motivation. I'm self-employed, and I, I shut down my business, canceled all my insurances. I could not commit to any work. I, I work now maybe three days on average a week. It's just it's been terrible. It, Physiologically and psychologically, mm -hmm. just there's, there's no drive anymore. You know, I was just such an active person. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'd like to get that back. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little more about the headaches? The headaches not as frequent, but when they do come, they are fairly intense. They don't last that long. Okay. Uh, maybe five minutes at the most. Uh -huh. But uh, I can recall one particular incident this past winter. I was out in the front shoveling the driveway, mm -hmm. and it was quite windy. This mm -hmm. was before before the um, the, the uh, shutdown, you know, the speed shutdown. And uh, it just uh, everything just hit me. You know, I was out there shoveling because I had to get it done. Mm -hmm. But I got to the point where I had to stop. My head, it was like there was a jet flying back and forth through my head. Mm -hmm. I, had, I threw the shovel down, ran into the basement, and I took my pulse. I have a pretty low pulse usually, mm -hmm. you know, 70, 74 or so. Mm -hmm. My pulse, I counted my pulse, it was up to like 135, 140. And it, was, it took a good 10 minutes for me just to calm down. Mm -hmm. in the basement. Nice. And I assume you haven't had any way, any means to check blood pressure in situations like that? No, I don't. No. Okay. 
Um, I, I do have, um, I am on blood pressure medication. My blood pressure has been high. When did that start? Historically, that was uh, pre turbine Yeah. Has that, have you had to change or go up on doses? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. I, I can feel, I can feel once in a while when my heart is palpitating very, very hard. Yeah, with mainly a really fast rhythm. Yes. Not like just a couple of extra oh, beats yes. and then stopping, but a fast, continuous rhythm. Um, so the headaches are very short, yes. very painful. Mm -hmm. Do you get any nausea? With I have not had nausea. What no. about uh, vertigo, spinning? I have uh, a couple incidents of vertigo. Yes, not that many. It's funny. One actually happened when we were we had traveled off for the day to escape the turbine. Mm -hmm. We were going over a bumpy road. And it was this type of an action, mm -hmm. and we got through the bumpy part. Mm -hmm. But my head kept sloshing around. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was quite, quite remarkable. So that was one of your episodes of vertigo. Yes. Did that go away in a few minutes, or was that? That didn't last that long. I was gone in five minutes, but the memory was there. Yeah. Um, before, before this happened, did you get headaches, or what? What were your headaches? Not at all. I, I can't remember ever getting headaches. Okay. Were you ever motion sensitive, seasick, mm, car no. sick? Never. No. Did you have have ringing in your ears before? Never. Okay, so this is since. This is since. Okay. And your hearing, what was that like? I was tested early on after the turbine came on, and mm -hmm. I do have it has shown a hearing loss, mm -hmm. but that was associated with my profession. Yes. Tools. Yes. Okay. So you had hearing loss, but not tinnitus from no. from the Correct. noise exposure. Okay. Other than the blood pressure, any other chronic issues at all in terms of any other medical issues? I mean, that you had in the past before this started. No, in the past it was it was I was feeling good. Okay. Fifty eight, feeling like. 28 most of the time. Yeah. Just a, just a bundle of energy. Yeah. How is your concentration? Terrible. Can you give me any examples? Things that are... It's, uh, I just, not really. I, know. It's, I, can't, I can't think of any examples. But the, well, I can't. Prior to the turbine, you know, in my construction trade, I had to do a lot of bids, mm -hmm. which detailed a lot of numbers. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I totally had to give that up. I, mm -hmm. I had a job that I was figuring back last spring. I just could not put the numbers down. I couldn't focus on what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I had to call the people up and tell them that uh, I'm having trouble with this. I have to pass on this job. So I've done that with two or three jobs. Now it's just hourly work by myself. You know, when, when I have the motivation to get up and do it. Mm -hmm. So the cost to you is big. It's, it's uh, very big. My wife works for me. She has done all the paperwork and all the books and the taxes. Mm -hmm. So that kept her busy. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing uh, two million dollar a year work. Mm -hmm. Now I'm down to. Ten, twenty thousand dollars a year. We have lawyers' fees. You know, we have uh, health bills. It's, uh, it's not been a very good year and a half. Mm -hmm. We have the constant threat of uh, what we're going to do with our house. I have a twenty, twenty-two years in that house yeah. that you built. It's been a hobby. Yeah. Roof decks, gardens, koi ponds. Yeah, it's, this this will be our, our retirement right here. Yeah. Our retirement money. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's tough, tough getting up in the morning, you know, thinking about all this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But we had this this nest egg, and now it's it's broken. Mm -hmm. It's it's a psychological. Right now, it's, it's just, it's very, very difficult. It's going to happen a month from now, a year from now. It's, uh, anyway. And the 
chance that you could sell the home? I mean, of course, you don't want to anyway, but what do you think is the... Uh, I've applied for a tax abatement. And, uh, mm -hmm. They don't know what to do with it. You know, so he said, well, we don't think that's going to be any problem. And I said, well, why don't you just, just Google our address, 211 Blasphemy Shop Road. Mm -hmm. you know, see what you come up with. And it's all wind turbine problems. And, mm -hmm. and I would well, mm -hmm. who's going to buy it? Take the turbines down. What? When you take the turbine down, you can come and see it. I don't want you to get hurt. I can see it okay. <laughs> My husband can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a mess. 